there's always some noise making in the background. But still, I care for that. Shalom, Yasharala, Galhala, Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Kakadash. We give double honors to the apostles, the prophets, and elders of JMS Camp for the praying for the hundred percent that we currently edified under. And no, I'm not with JMS, but I'm currently learning under JMS. And my aim today is to bring for the ultimate, the utmost truth concerning what has been going on dealing with the vax. Because many people or are that are of the understanding that the vax is not causing the malignant diseases as well as the myocarditis or blood clots and so on and so forth and that I'm just talking nonsense. Now that's why I'm doing this video. So everybody who are watching this video can directly see. I'm going to be going into the ingredients of the vax with the information showing how toxic each ingredient are and what it does to the body and then we will try to get some results resolves which is some remedies for it to be exact because that's where i stand in but for those who are saying that a hey, i talk in nonsense and this is a lie and blah 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 watch this video i hope you all could hold your tongue after or whatever y'all choose to do and if that if y'all are those who happen to take the jabba juice the vax it's up to, it's up to you you could either try and seek help or accept <laughs> that is it so like you did firstly you know we had to go into the scriptures and i want to get straight to the point where it says honor a physician with the honor due unto him, right? For the use which ye may have of him, for the most I had created him. And I want to jump straight to the point where it says, and the skill, the skill of the physician shall lift up his head, and in the sight of great men he shall be in admiration, and the most had created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. Now I want to make sure this lesson get um um, comes out properly because uh, uh, without me using any words to get blocked on number two, I want to make a disclaimer, which is I am not a physical doctor. I'm not a, a sorry, a, a, a doctor or not a medical doctor. I don't practice any medical, um, any, how to put it, medical practices. I don't have a medical certificate, so on and so forth, um, concerning pharmaceuticals. I'm not none a way, no way, any way or form concerning that. I'm just a person that uh, that has practiced, or let's say, learn about herbs and practice it for over two years, three years. No, wait, one, two, three, four, some years, some years, some years. Um, so. So yeah, I hope this lesson really is indeed edifying. I hope you Jake's tune in and listen to this because you can at least send this to your parents or your, I just say, your loved ones to, to, to alert them as to what's going on so they can at least get some help for their body, which is a remedy to what? To prolong their life. You know what I'm saying? So, and let me just go into 7 and say, which says that the heal men take away their pains, right? Um, no, sorry, 6. And he had given men skill that he might be honored in his marvelous works, which such that he healed men and take away their pains. Right? That is the main point. So let me get into this lesson, BS. BS. I hope you all do not really and truly. I hope you are taking this lesson. This lesson is to be taken seriously. Because for those who are family members who have done this, are uh, basically going to succumb to these things, whether they like it or not, unless they decide to go into a, a health um I said he said to dwell fasting, go into some health programs to cleanse themselves a little bit, to at least prolong the life a little bit longer before they perish. I am not the most high, so I can't control when they're going to perish, but I can tell you something. What was given in that vax will make them perish. Anyways. So let's get it. You all see the whole listing I've done here. Everything, information upon information has been done. So let me go dealing with the first um ingredient on the list which is what in the pfizer vax which is the m r n a the messenger ribonucleic acid m r n a 
right so let you get into it firstly with the information given starting with wikipedia m i'll just say mrna so in molecular biology the mrna is a single stranded mole molecule of rna that corresponds to genetic to genetic sequence of a gene and is read by a ribosome in a ribosome ribosome in the process of synthesizing a protein which you'll see in um, what's being played off in the pictures which are, is a screenshot so I can't really go into it like that but you know there's the mRNA here there is when you go if I could big it up a little bit right uh, stabilizing nucleus mRNA and the ASEAN there is a there is a tris I believe it looks like transport okay I don't have a car really see I've clear but let me continue let not three because when you go into the, the the lesson it says mRNA is created during the process of transcription right where an enzyme RNA polymerase or meris converts the gene into primary transcripts mrna also known as pre mrna the pre mrna which is understood to, um, is used still um, um so usually still contains so like, yeah, introns now introns for those who don't know uh, are part of the genes that that does not accepts coding or code here yeah, does not take the coding and when it says in regions, which when you go into the word exon, just like the introns, any part of the gene that will form a part of the final mature RNA, meaning they will accept the coding, to be exact. So let's continue. Um, right, so the introns, regions that will not go on to code for the final amino acid sequence. So there's a reason why it's removed. These are removed in the process of RNA splicing, leaving only exons to do what? For those regions to be received the encode. Meaning, which seen here, regions that will encode the protein. So those areas, that gene, the areas of the genes will receive encode. So that's why the entrons are removed. So that, so that, guess what? It could become susceptible to decoding. Very simple. This exon sequence constitu constitutes mature mRNA. Mature mRNA is then read by the ribosomes, and the ribosomes create protein-utilizing amino acids carried by transfer RNA, which is tRNA. This process is known as translation all of these processes form part of the central dogma of of molecular biology which describes the flow of genetic information in a biological system see where they're trying to give they're trying to replace the job of the dna they're trying to, they're trying to remove that aspect to include their own to rewrite their own you see how they're trying to damage to repair with something that is <laughs> So like I found that I was interrupted by a call. <sighs> I thought I'm not say so. Okay, no. Anyways, so be back on it. With how far we reach, right? So as a DNA genetic information in mRNA is contained in the sequ in the sequence of nucleotides, right, which are arranged into codons consisting of three ribonucleotides each. And here it says, eh? please listen to this part. Each codon codes for a specific amino acid except the stop codons, which terminates protein synthesis. The translation of codons into amino acid requires two, which we know as the tRNA, which was mentioned, transfer RNA, and the next one, which was supposed to be the um, well, we're going to get it now, so they're going to get it. Um, two types of RNA, the transfer RNA, which recognizes the codons and provides the corresponding amino acids and the ribosomal 
RNA, which is rRNA, the central com component of the um, ribosomes protein manufacturing um, machinery. Right? Now, now that this is understood, because when you watch, the sequence in, of all that is mentioned works well in doing one thing. Changing the molecular structure of your DNA. When you go into it, as the consequences of doing so, and even the toxins, when you place that vax into you, these synthetic reviewed, evaluated the rare CV um, complications, which we know what you know that what that means. I was just the vax complications that have occurred due to mRNA vax and revealed the tr the high that highly that that so like, yeah, the highest comp um, comp complication reported combined for both mRNA vax was thrombosis. <sighs> so who are those who are saying what? That the vax don't cause blood clots and myocarditis and, and stroke and, oh, and, 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 and malignant diseases. I almost say the word malignant diseases and all them other things. For those who don't want to read but want to believe and feel of their own thoughts, y'all are idiots. I don't care. If you want to feel without doing some research and going into it and feel and believe that even that is what they say in the CDC and even that is what's going on with majority of the people in the community or the country, people falling and dropping like flies. If you still in disbelief and still want to believe after the information is given, you all are idiots. I could have said something much worse, but I'll leave it as that. You all deserve to remain idiots. It is what it is. So let's continue. Let me see what is thrombosis. Thrombosis is the formation of a what? A blood clot. Partial or complete blockage. When your vessels to your heart is blocked, what is the, what's the action of that? Let me hear all you. Somebody say something. Because to me, that sounds like myocarditis. To me. Or stroke. To me, or massive blood clots, issues with the foot, darkening of the foot because of massive blood clots. That doesn't sound familiar to you? Anyways, let me, let me get off my high horse, let me relax. <sighs> People can be really, I don't know, the ignorance boy, the ignorance. People could really be, how to put it? I had to say it, they could really be stupid at times. Y'all believe in the system so much. Them give you a death injection. Y'all take it. They show you a death injection. And y'all in denial. People falling and dying. And y'all still in denial. And then y'all coming and saying that we don't know what we're talking about. Why you don't go into the in ingredients of the vax? What the vax, what, it, it, it don't have no ingredients? It just magically disappear. It magically changed to things that help and assist the body when it tells his toxins. Let me continue. If you don't have the ears and the eyes to see and hear, you will not receive it. It is what it is. So let me go into one of the, the main points dealing with the PEG, which is polyethylene glycol. What for, for, who do, for those who don't know what that is, it contains graphene oxide. <laughs> The same graphic that I was mentioning that people are saying that it doesn't exist. Okay then, let me continue. So the poly... <laughs> the PEG is a polyether, right? Compound derived from pro, uh, for petroleum with many applications from industrial ma uh, manufacturing to medicines. PEG is also known as polyethylene oxide, which is PEO or polyethylene, which is... POE, depending on its molecular weight, the structure of PEG is commonly expressed by uh, expressed as the HO, that whole formula you're seeing here, which I care less to go into. Now, let me read this particular part where it says polyethylene fun uh, 
functionalized graph functionalized graphene oxide in tissue engineering what will you think about that what will you think about that, that statement the polyethylene that holds the graphene oxide the polyethylene is used to functionalize the graphene oxide in tissue engineering meaning to carry it out through your bloodstream properly or through all the tissues correctly that is what that is what the purpose of it is go into the abstract right another method to prepare a polyethylene oxide right or slash graphene oxide you see that here the PO, peo and the go which is graphene oxide composite uh, membrane aim for the lower temperature polymer electrolyte membrane fuel cells without any chemical modification is present in this work the membrane thickness is 80 units with a go graphene oxide content Now let me show y'all. Now this might look like a lower mountain, but let me show y'all what the graphene oxide does now. Right? Let me show you all that. Just so y'all can have a better understanding. Graphene oxide. Let me see if I have any more information before I go into that. I think I have one here. It's going lower down. Yeah, right here. So graphene oxide induces cell toxicity through plasma membrane damage. Generation of re of reactive organ species, ROS and DNA damage. Now, there's a little scientific explanation in it, which is graphite oxide, former called graphite oxide or graphith or graphithic acid, is a compound of carbon, comma, oxygen and hydrogen in variable ratios obtained by treating graphite with strong oxidizers and acids for resol for resolving of extra metals right the the the, the, the maximally the maximally oxidized bulk product is a yellow solid with a co that is how it forms when it when it um when it resolved right so now let me go into the information. Graphene oxide. Let me make sure I didn't right. Right. So now we're going to graphene oxide. Right. Generally, graphene oxide as well as a regular graphene and even a reduced graphene oxide are uh, all showcasing toxic effects. Be it in vivo or in verto. That being said, any surface modification can lower the, tox the toxic interaction. So if you use graphene oxide without any means of protection, you can end up with a variety of health issues. Hmm. Some of these range from a disease, a decrease in cell Vit vital viability to lungs a long gram a long granul granulomas pronunciation you know your tongue is tight it is appearing randomly to kidney and even liver problems oh that is why people has been having a reduction in circulation from the vax that is why oh shocks and don't forget the thrombosis. Oh my gosh. Don't forget the, the, the malignant disease, which we know as the big C. Wow. Now we understand. Now we gain some way, right? So let's continue. Because of that, it is rec only recommended to handle graphene oxide in protected, comprehensive, right, environments where you take the right precaution otherwise graphene oxide can end up being quite problematic for your health meaning it's not or never has been for your body in your body this will happen which you can get here now because i'm glad um by the doctor by the name of um dr lewis who did multiple scans sorry showing... dr lewis here we yeah. did a quick recording with your blood so this is actually how heavy metal look in the blood, which is called the graphene oxide. As you can see, it's black in color. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's moving, right? And what it do, this is a little piece here, it caused the cell to become dark as well too. So this big chunk of heavy metal actually was in, in a lower part of the body. 
and as lower part of the blood sample and as soon as the blood passes in that area it scoop up the entire mm -hmm. graphene oxide right. to pass but guess what get watch what happened the around the surrounding area is now dark what does that mean in biology in secondary school when your blood is getting dark and it becomes because it's deoxygenating or it's called deoxygenated blood so if when oxygenated blood passes by it it deoxygenizes what does that mean that your circulation is going to dramatically drop your issues with with impotency is going to increase with certain body movements is going to increase problems with 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 with, with clots and circulation is going to increase organ um, issues with your organs and slower healing um, slower healing uh, in the body is going to also be a thing guess what being unable to what fight off certain malignant diseases as well because you have a substance that is hard to get rid of that is in your body causing damage because it's toxic to your body let's continue pass on to other red blood cells all right just hold one second for me there so you know when we find studies, we always report it and share it to persons. Right, so this is it here, right? That's all. Hold on, let me see if I get these next. Right. right, so this is the patch of the graphene oxide here, all right? And the cells... Let me lost, let me lost it. Come on. Let me research, come on. <laughs> Yeah, some good stuff there, yeah. All right, so this is the patch here, right? And okay. up here okay. is where it, it passes, these cells pass there, and actually you can see the graphene oxide stick onto these cells, watch it. Mm -hmm. All right? Now, common sense would tell you that a deoxygenated blood that is now being grabbed on or, or latched on to a particular metal is going to cause what? Clotting as well. Not only is the mRNA... I mean, I mean, this is this alone should finish the video to be exact. I don't think I need to do any more of this explanation, but I'm going to go through the rest just for, just for your simple terms to get more understanding, right? It is what it is, right? Not to mention the graphene also have parasites in them. You see these nice long parasites you see in here and the clots? Those are what comes from the vaccine. The vax slakia shocks. The vax, the vax, the vax, the vax, the vax. I didn't say the, I didn't, I didn't say the specific one, eh? So I say, so I say the vax. I didn't say the C vax. So I say the vax. Watch my tongue. Please don't let this video get removed. Because I want to do it over again. And I, I don't like that. Gosh. I mean, I don't mind, but uh, come on. Gosh, boy. Hey. Y'all about me all shy. Help me today. Help me to remember to keep my tongue still from saying the, these words. All right. Um. So let me go back, let me continue on going back into the 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 um, graphene, right? And when you go for it, it says, um, otherwise graphene acid can be, can be, can end up being problematic, quite problematic for your health. And it's, a, an, and it's the type of thing that you really want to avoid as much as possible without being pro properly equipped. The graphene oxide can stay in a human body for up to 24 hours, sometimes even a bit more than that. Take a go, um, GO, which is graphene oxide sheets, um, will be harder to remove, whereas thinner sheets can be um, excreted via urine, which is very good. Regardless, having the right protection can help eliminate such issues and, and concerns. Now, we have to remember one thing, one thing that we need, which we see it already cause issues for, which is the liver, one thing that we need and the kidneys, we need to make sure our liver and our kidneys is in, is in perfect condition to be able to deliver those 500 functions plus functions per day, which in one removing toxins, send it to what? Your, um, your, your duck, your, from your, your bladder, to your, your, your gall to your duck, to your, your intestines to co come through as feces or even through your kidney to come through as you and through your bladder. Come now, man. You need to have these things in order. That's what I'll be saying. So let me continue. Because there's more. There's much, much, much more. 
right? I'm not stopping until you get a proper understanding. It's just that simple. So let me go into this one, which is known as, if I could press, you see it happening again. Pause this. Come on, continue. Right, so let me go back into it. My phone, for some reason, is freezing. All of a sudden, my phone never freezes. And it's preventing me from pressing into certain things to get information just now. That was happening just now. So let me get into it. Is this is what I call DSPC. Now, I'm not going into this deep word because, come on. And this one shorter abbreviation or shorter word is also called PC. So, let me get into it. DSPC is a PC, a kind of phospholipid, right? It is a natural constituent of cell membranes. Example, soya bean, PC are, most, are mostly different car 18 carbons, PC including minorities of saturated DSPC and the hydrogenation, the hydrogenation um, like, yeah, results in 85% DSPC. It can be used to prepare, now, this, now remember, listen to this part. This is the part right here. It, DSPC, can be used to prepare lipid nanoparticles which are used in mRNA vax. In particular, it, fo it forms part of a drug delivery sy um, system for the Madonna and Pfizer vax. Now, let's see if the DSPC, right, or as we know, the DP, the DTPA, because it's right here. But anyways, DSPC, dealing with it. If it's indeed toxic or not, the DTPA is toxic and should be handled with care immediately before use. The buffer is deaerated de de by bubbling with argons or nitrogen for 15 minutes. Now, when you go more into it, which we did, the DSPC right that is used in pre um, preparation of liposomes for transfer for transfection and drug delivery applications the dspc functions to enhance encapsulation efficiency and liposome stability which enables greater effectiveness in bioprocessing so guess what they add a buffer to the vax making it more susceptible for you to become ill of the vax may i continue so not that not only is toxin but it's enhancing the toxins it's not enhancing your cells i could guarantee you that so they continue then we have um dealing with this particular word which is known as um, tham or this right which we make a short abbreviation of now let me get it this or um, unknown during the medical use of um, THAM is an organic compound with a formula of HOC, which is um, continuation of the formula. One of the 20 goods, uh, the goods buffers, it is extensively used in biochemistry and molecular biology as a component of buffer solutions, uh, such as a TOE. A T O B buffer, especially for the solutions of nucleic acid. It carries part. It contains a primary amino and thus undergoes the reaction associated with typical amino um, yeah, amines. And it says, um, example, condensation with um, I believe this was supposed to be the uh, anyways, um, aldehydes, tris is uh, Chess also complexes with metal ions in solution. In medicines, the thumb is occasionally used as a drug given in intensive care for its properties as a buffer for the treatment of severe metabolic acid acidosis in specific circumstances. So, right, now we have that understanding. Now, watch this, eh? Because of the tree, which I want to go into, but right here, the tree, it says due to its presence of three molecular um, molecules of um, the, form, the form aldehydes in the composition of tris, 
It can be referred to as tox a toxic product. However, the use of any substance requires consideration of dosage. You hear that? It's already toxic. But you only use a lesser dose, to, it would still be toxic. It would still be toxic. What's the difference? Now, when you go more into Tris, hear what it says. This is Tris. Now, you was saying something about what? The, the Vax don't have these things and so on, so it doesn't cause and cause that. Watch this. Tris contacts and irritates the skin and eyes. Tris phosphate is probably carcinogenic, carcinogen in humans. There are some evidence that, that it causes, I was about to say it, malignant diseases in humans and have been shown to cause kidney liver stomach and lung malignant diseases in animals as well so for those who are experiencing severe cases guess what in trouble yeah, I don't want to say the name of this page right here for you to see. Right that? See? Those who is in trouble. Now, I could keep I could keep going. I could literally keep stinging on it with some knowledge right here. Literally. But for time purposes, I will reduce it to a certain amount. Now, one way for me to show and prove that the, the, the so-called vax has indeed does indeed cause it will cause these things as they say it does was this particular person here now before that let me go into this uh, hi let me go into this playoff i don't want to hold on i'll make sure the name passed she mentioned her name so i'm gonna come off for the name i pass the name so let me continue to testify about this herbal cleanse that i bought from my friend here and someone told me about it. a couple of people two people in my family told me about it and recommended that i take it so i was experiencing swelling in my foot one of my foot in my right foot um i went to the hospital after a while i went to the hospital for it and it is something it was a blood clot on the inside of the foot so it, it caused mind you what was understand to me, what was mentioned out of her mouth, it was a massive blood clot. Was the foot down by the ankle to change color, and it was swelling, and the color was just spreading. The dark coloring was spreading like, like it was a watermark on the skin, and up to now it's there. It's not as dark as it was, but it's there. You can see it without trying to, and. The foot was started to pain and a lot of swelling and what i started to do when i was introduced to this cleanse um i decided to try it and i did regardless of how you take it i didn't take it according to recommendations because that's just the kind of yeah she was drinking like she going crazy i just be honest with you she she didn't take it at the recommended dosage the, rec the recommended dosage she was taking way more <laughs> So anyways, a person I am with herbs and thing I just like to go down with it a lot one time. Yep. So um I took it for two weeks straight. Right? So I took it the first weekend and then I took it the next weekend. And that has been over three months plus now and mm -hmm. I have not experienced any further swelling in my feet mm -hmm. in this right leg no further swelling mm -hmm. um the pain has almost totally gone mm -hmm. some days i will just now, mind you this was before this particular it was before the the message you seen i was further i just forwarded it to because this one is closer than that this was to a month before that eh? this particular um this voice note was a month before the, the message that is ab ab above, which I can read after. Because I have the receipt with the medical report picture, which I cannot post. I'm not a medical doctor. 
nor am I practicing any medical, um, do I have any medical license, nor do I practice any medical, pharmaceutical, or whatsoever concerning that. I just deal with herbs. Very simple. Feel it there, but it has almost totally gone. Sometimes I don't even remember. I would be feeling where the foot would be, all the, down by the ankle would be sore. It's not sore anymore. And to touch, sore to touch. Even the dark area would be sore to touch. I, I, I sometimes I'm pressing, I'm pressing on this spot to see, well, where do the hood? Because I know, I know, it just in putting a little pressure on the skin. It, I used to feel pain on the foot. Not anymore. So, I really give God thanks for herbs and for giving people the... Kal hala yahawa, bahasham yahawashai, bahasham akakadash, barakatha. All praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh. I ain't taking none. <laughs> Even if it's this, my, this is my profession, or this is what he has called me to do, I still ain't taking no glory for that. I good. I learned my lesson. I real good. That is yours, Yahweh. That is your glory. The wisdom. You know, to choose the right herbs that you can use. So I must say that this herbal cleanse is amazing. It really does an awesome job. It does a wonderful job. Um, the blood cleanse and then the, the cleanse for your colon. It is awesome. And I would recommend to anybody whatsoever you're experiencing, go ahead and take it. Um, besides that... I experienced a burst of energy when I took the blood cleanse. I just had energy to run up and down that big church and clean and run. And I had the energy to go. And it was really amazing. I, I was feeling tired and, and heavy. and it, It's like a light and I could have just moved. And the, the moment that I think about doing something, I was already on it. You know, and I, 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 it's a while since I experienced feeling like that. So, yes, it is amazing. And I would recommend that people try it. Try it all because so much, so much toxins are backed up inside the body. When we don't go off, we, we're going off, even if we're going off every day, we think that we're passing out everything, but nope, not at all. Right? So it's up there. So it has been a blessing to me. So I just wanted to share that. Thank you. Right. So now we understand the level of what Yahweh has presented, what Yahweh has taught me through certain lessons, through um, the urge of going to the forest and looking and understanding the herbs and how they are, how they grow together and their family line and what compatible with what to be able to bring forth something that will help the nation at the end of the day, right? But I, I can say my my task is not more than service of Yahweh, just serving Yahweh at the end of the day. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to be honest with whatever he has called me to do, that is what that is my task. So watch this finishing part. Eh? Hey, I finally was called into the hospital to do an ultrasound on my foot. After five months, nothing was found. So thank you, Lord Yahweh Shai. Of course, she said Jesus Christ. Un un unaware, unknown. Um, and it says, thank, and she says, um, and, and thank you. So, again, as I'm not taking no glory, me taking no honor, me taking no praises for the work that has been done, I give it all to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh at the end of the day. Because guess what? He has made me reach that far from a situation where I had to left my job because they were going to force me to, not force me, they were trying to get me to cut my beard, which I was not going to do. To bringing me into this, which is dealing with herbs, helping people who can't help themselves, seeing the succession of helping others using herbs as becoming now a profession, is something or a thing that I do. Um, so, since what I have it, it has its ups and downs, but I am glad to be in it because guess what? It's less stressful than to, to work. I mean, I don't mind, but it's less stressful than to work in, in, in this system to be exact. So it is where it is. So let me continue. Um, there is there is the information given. I will just paraphrase 
what the medical report has said right and it says um something dealing with um the the examination review where it says nothing was found and the initial the brief historical history report was dealing with um the massive blood clots as well as the vein something venous something i can't remember what exactly it was but i don't, I don't want to quote the thing wrong but i do i can't show it right i really can't show it as much as i want to somebody else's medical report it is what it is um you know, i just had to take my word for it i know other people who i know who watch this video have seen it so <laughs> you understand so um <laughs> just take my word for it but that is what um the the vax has been doing to people and really and truly it's not a nice thing to see people drop be honest with you i've known people who are sick who have fallen i've known people who are now how to put it in the in the coffin uh yeah off of the same same exact facts and i know family members who want to wildly see it and getting sick and then realizing okay you know what it really is the vax but i do have too late I already gone to taking boosters too <laughs> yeah and they refuse no matter how each other help them with herbs they refuse to accept the reality because they are in a profession that deals with medical pharmaceutical so them think that is that dice weight is that is it <sighs> mind you the same doctor that was trying to treat her for her um clot on her leg um the medication was not working for her so they didn't know what to do that was the, the next scene after they drain her of her income <laughs> and i had to be the one to come that yahweh had directed to scoop up and save the situation at, at the end of the day so yeah just give her praise and glory to yahweh at the end of the day there's a way that's where it is isn't it? like we that, that is just where it is and i want to share our way ways of really relieving or coming out because as we read the um the, the graphene oxide only stays within your body for it with literally within 24 hours so if it is your body if it is you can get your body back to proper health that will come out within the next day i'm being honest with you all it, do, all it takes is what a fast um a vax injury treatment you fast for 48 to 72 hours uh, when you're fasting off is, is spring water and cleansing herbs these cleansing herbs would consist of the natural blood cleanse, which I always talk about. Burdock root, yellow duck, sarsaparilla, hydrangea root, um, red clover, blessed thistle, chaparral, rhubarb root, nettle leaf, cascara sagrada, and sene. Yeah, all add these together. Let that be a drink. Or you can, you can separate the sene, the rhubarb root, and the chap the, the cascara sagrada and with uh, add some dandelion to that and the rest you could drink separate your parasite your blood cleanse on top and then you could drink your, your gut and cell cleanse below to, to purge out whatever is in you for the next three days it might be time consuming you might start to get relaxed and from relax you start to get warm. I started to feel the drawn treatments. That will that will be the third day again to feel the drawn treatment, meaning you start to draw out. Meaning you start to feel a little weak. When you begin to feel a little weak, I advise you to go into a, what, a, either a, a juice fast or a fruit fast. Firstly, fruits. After a week time of doing that, you can still be drinking a blood cleanser during that particular time, but you will ease up on the gut cleanse. Kind of consume it more. I would say once a week would end that, or twice a week self, instead of how it did for full three days, twice a week. And you can still, you be consistent with that. That will help you a long way. You don't even know. You would still, you, you still, your life will still be prolonged. Because that, that, that is the aim of us, of the ones who deal with the um how does it the physicians or the ones who deal with the herbs the herbal doctors or the naturopathies or let's like just say the bush doctor which is known in trailer we are known as bush doctors in trailer so um i'm gonna read up it says then give place to the physician for the most high had created him let him not go far from thee for the most high had need of him there is a time when in their hands there is good success for each for so they shall also pray unto the most high that he would prosper that which they get for ease and for remedy to prolong life meaning he would put the strength behind the combination that we give to prolong that person's life 
That's why I always ask this question. Do you believe in the Most High? If you do, I can help you. If you don't, I cannot. As much as I want to, I would still try, but it's really and truly for Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, to add the strength and the and the which he already did, to add additional strength into these herbs that was created for its purpose, which is to heal. He controls that. The only thing I'm here to do is to rightfully, how to put it, analyze and administer these herbs via making the brews, adding the combinations in order or having like how I have dreams and visions of combination and when I make it, it works like that. And sometimes it doesn't even matter what I do. It doesn't even, for some reason, it doesn't even matter if I, I could add some sort of sub leaf for a common cone and it will work. I, I could I don't know what that is, but it's like you draw it. I could draw wheat grass and it will work on somebody who's sick. So I guess going back to what it says, and the skill sorry uh, sorry, let me, let me reach that point. Uh, let me reach to that point where it says And the skill of the physician shall lift up his head in the sight of great men, and he shall be in admiration, right? And why I say that because real and true is the most high who gave us that knowledge. He the one who directed us to certain paths that we would take, especially the children of the early children of Israel, because not especially directly the early children of Israel, because remember, yeah, the Israelites are the Lord's portion. Israel is the Lord's portion to be exact. So when you talk about Israeli, I make sure I understand, put that in understanding, we talk about the Israelites, not the Israeli. But as we have an understanding, now we know what the Vax does. So send us to your, to your people, send us to your um, send us to co-workers or whoever it may be, let them get an understanding of what the Vax does so they can come and seek and get help. Right? No, I enforce nobody. But it's up to you to come and get your help. Either you come and get your help or you perish. It's up to you. I can't find out with you. Or find another solution. I don't know. <laughs> so it had to be it had to be from me, but you could take some advice and try it. And you know, we can sustain of eating what? Directly fruits, multiple uh, like that would be a base diet fruits, and from there a week, veggies, and then you'll combine them, fruits and veggies, because it will take a longer process to digest, but it will still will take a shorter process on meats and other toxic chemicals. Also, always be including ginger in your diet because that will also help your liver break down chemicals and toxins that are harmful for it, preventing the damp the um Preventing the change in the liver, leaving the liver to produce is 500 plus daily functions every single day. Nice little tip, Ginger. Very easy, nice little tip, righty. So, y'all, Shalom to, um, Shalom to, what am I, before I go into this, let me go one more thing because, right? And I was bringing out this one. This are like this is like my favorite precept now. And wisdom as an understanding shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of thy salvation. For the fear of Yahweh is his treasure, right? So right now, in wisdom and knowledge and understanding, right now is that is given is dealing with what you can use to overcome the vax, as well as those who take the vax and want to be ignorant about it. Very simple. It shows in so far what the four ingredients that y'all, the four ingredients already has already been shown. Uh, to be toxic, all to be toxic and all to be harmful, some being carcinogenic, some being um, thrombosis-like, so, well, not tr directly thrombosis, some being um, reducing, sorry, the oxygen in your blood, causing clots, some being damaging your liver, your kidney, and your lungs. So, now that it's out there and established, please... For those who take the vax, stop saying that the vax don't cause these things and start saying, let me get some help before I drop. That's all. All right. Now, you know, I was I would not lie about something that I read and go into since that time said why I didn't take it. Why I didn't take it? I read and went into the information. Not just the one that was being sent out through WhatsApp, but the CDC side itself. 
Now when you go and see the society, you see, you can barely even see the ingredients. I don't dig to get the ingredients, but it's there still. But they're trying to hide it now. Because they know they're in error. Anyways, let's continue. So, please, 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 um, take this information. Share it to people who is in need of it, who would need help. And yeah, like, really come and start to help people out here. Yeah. So, yeah. So... Sorry, um, I just saw something that was very worrisome. But anyways, so obviously, hope this video was indeed edifying. I am Chizak, and I'm Chizak Healing to be exact. I know my TikTok is Chizak Yasharala. But like you go into this, when you say, Kalhala Yahawa, Bahasham Yahweshai, Bahasham Rakakadash. Again, double honesty, the apostles and prophets and elders of James Khan, but in all great millstone for the being for the 100% truth that we currently edified under. As well as the like minded brothers, we can like minded truth. Shalom to them, shalom to the elect and the one third. And I hope this, this video is indeed edifying to help the sheep to come to understanding as to who is indeed our adversaries and who are we in this system and in this world, which I would tell you, children of Yasharala. So, Shalom.